Okay, so we have about two pounds of chicken, or two chicken breasts here. We've got three um, sausages, carrots, celery, jalapenos, chicken broth, cream of chicken, black pepper, salt, tonies, bay leaves, Angostura bitters, chicken bouillon cubes, paprika, cayenne, thyme. And I think that's it. And over here we've got our flour, our peanut oil, our yellow or two medium yellow onions and we're going to combine all this together to make a delicious chicken and sausage not gumbo stew first thing that we need to do is create a roux that's where your peanut oil comes in and your flour notice that i have a wooden spoon and that is because plastic one milk. It's about two table, tablespoons of flour in there. If you want it a little thicker than this, you would put in a little more flour. And when you're doing a roux like this, you have to keep moving, otherwise the flour will settle and burn. And you'll have a burned taste that is not pleasant in your whole stew. Okay, so we're approaching kind of the right color here. This is still considered a light roux. We want our roux, ideally, to look like a cup of coffee with two, maybe three creamers in it. People will tell you that the roux will stop cooking once you put other ingredients in, but that's just obviously not true. It cooks a lot slower with other ingredients in. But if you get your roux too dark, you run the chance of burning it after you put everything else in. So we're getting to a place I'm really happy with right here. Now we gotta work on caramelizing the onions. These are extremely white at this point. We want them to be clear, get all that good sugar out. Okay, so we're reaching a point I'm pretty happy with. Our onions have cleared up and are starting to crisp up. So we're going to start throwing our meats in. Chicken's cooked on the outside. Feels good. Our sausage in. Now, if we add all the veggies to this pot in particular, it will overflow and it will catch this entire situation on fire. I've done that at least twice in memory. One time that precipitated the evacuation of a dorm room when I was in college, so. It was a very small fire. Bubbling and moving around, so that means it's getting nice and hot. Okay, obviously we're in the slow cooker. I've got my time set for four hours, which we're gonna leave it at. It's on high. Coming in with our jalapenos. Celery. A little bit of bacon grease, just because we have it around. Got some Tony's shakery. Some pepper so I can get it open. Salt. Just a little bit of time. Not a lot of that. 
And then paprika and cayenne, depending on how hot you like it. This is called Angostura bitters. It is actually in the alcohol aisle. These are chicken bullion cubes. I will be adding a can of water. She's good for four hours. 